bike looks very okay. shiny. This one looks like a mirror right there. I see your face. Let me try get one more. Here's your extra spaces. Killing it, dude. Thank you very much for your help, dude. Yeah, like anytime, man. You know that there's a typical stereotype of bikers people sure. know about, and then you wanna tell people about something. Well, no, I mean that's with anything. With with anything in life, you have a certain element that's always gonna be more aggressive and bad. Yeah. Um, this but, is your opportunity to yeah make it straight. <laughs> but it's it's who you hang out with. It's it's who you you're gonna it's you who you're gonna roll with. There are biker gangs. But not every biker is in a biker gang. Really? Yeah. How and can you uh, distinguish which ones the bike gangs and which is not? Uh, you'd have to know who the gangs are. There's certain gangs. Is there that... any uh, difference we can actually, you know, can tell? Not really. I mean, not unless you get involved with them. Oh, really? You guys cannot figure either. <laughs> okay. Can I have your name? My name is David. David. It's in the Bible. King David, do you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm Queen Esther, by the way. How are you doing, Esther? Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. So, nice bike you have. Like, how Thank old you. is your bike? Can you walk it's a 2003. 2003, 2003 deuce. Ooh. Okay. That looks like a new doll. Okay. I try to keep it clean. How many times do you clean it? <laughs> I was uh, asking you earlier. Before I ride it. Every day, every, every time yeah. I, before I ride it. Yeah, so uh, you have a wife and kids? No, I'm, I'm a widow, so it's just me and my son. Oh, okay, I see. Good. Some guys are caring very much about their car than their family. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wonder if you do the same thing with your bike. No. I, hope not. Okay. I got this because my son just graduated high school and I don't have to pay tuition anymore. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> How long have you been uh, on bike? Uh, probably about. Well, first I was on, on one for about 10 years, and, and yeah. then I sold it, and then I just got this one about a year ago. Oh, yeah? So how did you start like, to be a part of this I was, group of people? I was 18 when I got my first bike. Oh, yeah? So, I, you know, I see that a lot of bikers are very... You can scare people with that noise, you know? <laughs> scare them away, okay? Kind of like they appear to be very tough, you know? <laughs> I mean, you guys look at how you dress, you know, so people, I think most people, uh, they're afraid to get close to you guys, okay? Sometimes, but you know what, that's not necessarily a bad thing either. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, the, um, what, what was the first um, motivation that you start to, you know? I grew up with motorcycles, I used to do dirt, uh, motocross. Oh, and okay. had dirt bikes. So, there was a, you know, so I had I had bikes ever since I was little. Oh, I but see. Yeah. Harley. I've had it. My first Harley was when I was 18. Oh yeah, I see. So what is it like, um, bikers' lifestyle? Uh, it's just uh, you know what? Honestly, it's just get together, friendly, make friends. Just only bikers? Not always. No. Just, I have other friends who aren't bikers, but they like to come along. Oh yeah. Yeah. I change my seat out and I put a back seat on it. Uh -huh. I give a friend a ride and she'll have fun with it too. You know, I realized that uh, because of looking at all those bikes uh, parking over there, mm -hmm. they look very fancy and expensive. Mm -hmm. So I figured, I mean, I mean uh, let me tell you, like uh, some regular bikes, uh, uh, kind of like a skinnier than these. Oh yeah. Small ones. I mean, they, they can be expensive too, but these guys look like a double price, you know? Oh yeah, no, some, of these, is, uh, some of these bikes are about $50,000. Yeah. So most bikers are very rich, I guess. Uh, How can you guys afford to buy these? <laughs> yeah, it's like we positions. probably spent all our money on the bike. <laughs> oh yeah. So what what are the posi um, what are the professions you guys have usually? What are the what? Professions, jobs. Oh, like what do I do? Yeah. How can I, you make money? I'm a civil engineer. The most most of uh, people here. Um, I don't know everything from doctors yeah. to dentists to really? the garbage man. Yeah. Or well, maybe they look different when they come with uh, those yeah. uh, dress they look, clothes. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's yeah, just, uh, they, they it's just, just the clothes uh, they wear. They, they just act like somebody totally different, huh? I've got I've got one friend who's a dentist. And he he rides with me all the time. Oh, okay. Oh, by the way, sometimes I, when I hear that, like somebody just did behind us, you know, mm -hmm. they were making a lot of noise when they... What? what? 
why do they do that? They want to scare yeah, people yeah. away, or they just got like a... The engine is designed that way so that it's loud anyway. I can't leave now. But... Yeah, but sometimes so they, a, they yeah, sound but, like they, they do that for purpose. There's a saying, there's this old writer saying that says, loud pipes save lives. If we get your attention, you won't hit us. Oh, that's not just uh, they do that for purposely, like, like, hey, you know what? You know, when I'm in traffic, I do, I crack my pipes. Kind of, you know, like your cars and then drivers, when they um, honk. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they honk really loud, like a, it's like a yelling, you know? <laughs> so that's what I thought. Like these guys, they want to just kind of like, a, hey, you know, watch out, you know? <laughs> don't mess up with me. Stop. Well, a lot of times it's just to get your attention so that you guys don't hit us. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's not really bad meaning. No, with a pose like that, you look like the guy rocks something. <laughs> I get okay, that every yeah. once in a while. Yeah? Okay, by the way, so what I was saying is that, like, um, for me in general, um, bike is, um, I mean, cars are less uh, dangerous than bikes. Yeah, absolutely. That's what most people think. That's uh, true. And actually, that's for everybody, like anybody, you know. It is true. I mean, there's no such thing as a fender bender on a motorcycle. By the way, so uh, we don't know, you know, what would happen in front of us, you know. So, have you thought about life after death? Uh, yeah. Do you believe? Yeah, I do. I'm a Christian. You're a Christian. So, uh, you believe Jesus? I do. Okay, me too. But let me tell you, uh, I've noticed that because there are some obvious behaviors, uh, you know, lifestyle as a bikers, yeah. you know, that which I see. It's, I don't know much, you know, uh, but uh, just uh, in general when I see it, you know, like a lot of bikers have uh, some habits like uh, smoking, I guess drinking too, and I saw some heavy smokers all around. Oh yeah, you know? there's a lot of them. So, you know, as a Christian belief, isn't it a little, you know, kind of challenging and uh, very... Not necessarily, not alcohol or smoking or anything. <laughs> but, and in fact, that right there, Black Sheep, that group right there, that's a Christian group. Okay. All Christian riders. Yeah, I know. I saw some crosses on the bikes, okay? But then, you know, kind of like... Um, but again, it goes with anything with life. Yeah, yeah there, you're gonna have more people being a little more outrageous in the biker lifestyle. But you're still what you do. You're still up to you. So how do you deal with that? I I don't well, I don't I don't smoke. I don't do drugs. I do drink. Uh, but that's my choice because I live my life the way I want to live my life. I don't like drugs. But you like drink. Yeah, I, I like to have a beer. Okay, I don't mean to judge you, but this uh, is a care. good topic to talk about. Yeah, I don't we, care. We should be able to discuss and uh, sure. understand each other, right? Um, you know, the, you read the Bible, right? Now, how much do you trust? Like 100% or 50%? I don't know if I'd ever look at it in percentages because. I mean, it's just kind of like, uh, how much are you serious with that? I try to pattern my life as best I can. Um, and the right. what, I always try, what I always try to say, because people always, when they know that I'm a Christian, will say, oh, well, you must lead, lead a perfect okay. life. No. The way, I, the way I say it is, yeah. because I'm so... I'm, I'm more damaged maybe than other people. I need, I need, God, I need God more than you, and that's why right. I chose choose to be Christian. Yeah, in some ways we are humble, right? So we recognize that we are sinners. We we need God's help, so we come Absolutely. to Him, right? And so that's why I'm Christian because I feel that I I'm not 
all together there, and I need that that and guidance. That attitude has to be continue, right? Yeah. Uh, what other thing I once you become a Christian, you're always you know, you're you're perfect now. You know, okay, you're free from the sins. No, we right. are still going through the same thing. So we need God's forgiveness all the time okay. through Jesus. So. Um, when I say it about the Bible, the Bible is the only instruction from God that we all human beings who are from God should follow. Because mm -hmm. He's the one who knows the right measurement, right judgment yeah. we should go with. Yeah, and you, he, gives life, it, right? he gives us the guidance with the Bible. So we know murdering is the sin because it's from Ten Commandments, right? Mm -hmm. From God right. through Moses, okay? Which is just only one part of the Ten Commandments. See, we need that. We yeah. need God's guidance. Absolutely. And He says a lot of things in the Bible that we should go with. And most cases in the Bible says that there are a lot of sins and then what sin does to us, right? Mm -hmm. Like um, the Bible says that there's heaven and hell. You believe that? Yeah. Because the Bible says that, right? Because the Bible is the truth. Yeah. The truth from Him. Mm -hmm. So. When people die, they're gonna face this, right? Yeah, absolutely. So who you think of who can go to heaven, who can go, um, who go to hell? Not for me to judge. You Not for know? me to judge. You don't know the answer. The yeah. Bible has the answers. The the Bible tells you basically that if you are truly repentant and you ask for forgiveness, that you will be forgiven. And if you choose to do that, then you will. But if if you don't choose to do that, then you don't have to. Oh, okay. You just say that if you truly repent your sins, then you can be forgiven? Mm -hmm. Really? Without through Jesus? No, through Jesus, I said. Oh, I thought you didn't say the name. No. Okay, yeah. That's true, I agree with you. Through Jesus, we can be forgiven when we repent truly. Yeah, but right. you have to truly repent. Why it has to be Jesus then? Because a lot of people might question. Why? Why can't I be just the good? By... It, it's, it, that's only because that's what I believe. I'm not saying you have to believe that. If you believe it's somebody else, if you believe it's Buddha, believe it's Muhammad, they, still, they then... still can go to heaven. I don't. In my world, no. In their world, yes. And if, they, and if that's their path, who knows? Who am I to say that I'm 100% right? I don't know I'm 100% right. I believe I am, and that's why I choose to believe, believe in Christianity. Okay. So, but you believe Jesus, right? Yes. So let me ask, if you die and you go to heaven, what makes you think you can go to heaven? I don't think I, I, that I can go to heaven. I have, to, I have to earn it. What? So you're not sure you're going to heaven when you die? No. Even you are with Jesus? Yes. Then uh, you said you, you need to earn it. How do you earn your salvation? By trying to live your life good. How? How? What do you mean how? We've been talking about it. Live your life through the Bible. Yeah. Live your life through the Bible. Live your life through Jesus. Live your life oh, through so God. It's word. Uh, living according to what Bible says? Yes. So, Bible says a lot of things, right? Like, mm -hmm. uh, don't kill, don't steal, whatever. And also, mostly, he didn't say that we need to do all these things, like a scoring, right? That's what other people do in the whole world, like all the religious do. Mm -hmm. Human effort. But this Bible says very differently. God expects us to be good yeah. as a good example, not as a condition for salvation. Because no human effort is good enough to God, as you know. Absolutely, but so that doesn't mean saying, that. But that does not mean you don't try. Yeah, He wants us to be good. He wants us to be good yeah. examples, so people will come to Christ because of us, mm -hmm. so they can be saved too. They can go to heaven too. Mm -hmm. uh, because there are a lot of people who believe in Jesus, go to church, but they're not good examples that so people turn away from God. They don't want to go to church because of them. Right. Correct? So it's important. But then, when it comes to our salvation goes, that's not what he says. He says that salvation only comes through Jesus because, this is why I always ask you, do you know why he has through Jesus? Why not through Buddha or somebody else? The, one of those uh, religions, you know, the religious figures. Do you know? What do you think? Why it has to be Jesus? That's what God is trying to say. In the no, Bible. but that's what I believe. I believe that, but that's what I believe. If somebody else chooses to believe something else, uh -huh. that's up to them. Okay, so in your case, you think um, 
Uh, they don't have to believe in Jesus. No, that's yeah. not what I said. That's not what I said. But do they have a chance though? Do they have a chance to go to heaven? The way I believe, no. No. I believe you have to believe in Jesus Christ to get to heaven. Right. So you're but, saying Jesus But what I'm saying way. is, but what I'm saying is that if somebody chooses to do it, go another path, I'm not that's not my responsibility. If they want to choose that way, okay, fine. Choose, live your life. But so, you're not going to get the way, you're not going to get there the way I get there. out there so many choices right yeah right I mean and if course. you have to eat taco all the time there's only taco restaurant around in this world mm -hmm. you have no choice but there are a lot of different kinds of restaurants so mm -hmm. it'll be difficult for you to stick with the ta taco restaurant only right mm -hmm. that's the thing it is you know a lot of religious say that we have many different ways so yeah. why it has to be Jesus you know? <laughs> why I gotta to get going pretty soon are we gonna wrap oh, this yeah. up let me let me make it quick sorry so, so you, I think that you're saying Jesus is the only way to God and heaven, yes. right? I agree, I agree with that. That's what Bible says. That's why I try to say that you believe Bible, okay? Then, like that, unfortunately, a lot of people don't believe that way. That's their choice. So then, uh, free will. It's in the Bible. Uh, yeah. Don't you think uh, we believers who know the truth should let them know, give them chance by sharing information? What's written in Bible? Absolutely, but I'm not gonna. I'm, I don't go and knock on people's doors. I don't go and carry banners. I don't do that. But if people come up and ask me about about my lifestyle, then yes, I will share it. So you are showing with your lifestyle. Absolutely. Then you have to be 100% good, perfect. But you cannot do that. And I don't think that you have no, a chance. No, no, you do that. you can try, and you can take a step every day yeah. to be better. You can every single day just try to do good, and. Yeah, do you want to try to be perfect? Absolutely, but you're not going to be. Yeah, I've heard this before from other people, but the thing is, that, you know, it would be very difficult to find a chance like that. A lot of people are not really interested in Jesus, okay? Yeah. They're wrap so it up. Yeah, by the way, let me wrap it up. Uh, by the way, so you know what he says in the Bible? That's what we need to go with because, you know, that's what God word and we have to you know be obedient to him mm -hmm. so only people go to heaven because you obey to him not their own way that's right. the same right so he said that we Christians believers should go to them like uh, if it's necessary we have to go door to door okay uh, to let them okay, know and then if you want to do that go ahead I encourage you to do that because of you you can you can encourage me and I will still make my own decisions for myself yeah, but don't you think that you have a responsibility? I have a responsibility to live my life as an example, and that's what I do. And if that's not good enough, maybe to and if that's way. not good enough, then that's not good enough. But that's what I do. But what I'm saying, let's I'll, wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Yeah, yeah. But I uh, let's wrap it up. This is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know, David, I want you to make it to heaven. This I, is something. I hope I are, see you there. We are. This is something which is left to us. Yes, I hope I see we you can there. Guarantee. Okay, I gotta go. Okay. Yeah, but all right. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Sure. Okay.